Hi, my name is Eric Devine with Devine Guitars and Ukuleles. And today we are going to talk about laser engravers and the use of lasers in uh, inlay uh, rosettes in particular. Uh, I have been using a laser now for, <clears throat> for a couple of years and it has kind of changed the way I've gone about um, everything as well as, as well as giving me uh, the, the proper tools that I need to accomplish what I kind of see in my head. Um, the rosette traditionally um, in the last couple hundred years has been kind of known as the signature uh, of a luthier. Um, you know, back in the old classical days and, and flamenco builders and stuff, that was kind of their, how they expressed themselves in an instrument that was traditionally, they all looked very similar except for the rosette was how they kind of uh, gave their own personal flair to it. Um, so what we're going to talk about today is my uh, rosette that um, that I do here for some of my ukuleles. Uh, typically what I'll do is uh, cut a pocket in the top um, right around the sound hole. I will inlay a little piece of boxwood, um, which is a very light colored wood, almost white in some species. Um, so I'll inlay a, uh, a disc, a flat disc into the top. I will then take that disc or the, the top itself, put it in the laser um, with the graphic that I've already drawn out. Uh, the laser will then etch away all the negative space um, around the drawing that I'm not needing. Um, all that negative space is then filled with a black epoxy, which is a uh, dyed with either a, a dye or ebony dust, um, also works really well. Um, and then filled and leveled down, and that leaves you with um, the final product. Uh, what this does is kind of gives you the ability to do <clears throat> a very fine detailed work, um, not in the aspect that, um, uh, you know, the detail work that can be done with precision uh, and lay by hand and stuff, but the very small corners um, and more wispy ends um, to the natural materials that otherwise probably couldn't be cut by hand. Um, which kind of fits my style. I've uh, kind of tried to attain a little bit of a throwback um, towards some of the vintage instruments, kind of more scrolly work. Um, so this has actually helped me quite a lot in, uh, in getting kind of where I need to be. You can use a, a laser for a lot of other things too. And, and in recent years, uh, now that lasers have become more attainable for the smaller shop and the custom builder, uh, it makes things so much easier. Uh, you're able to do jigs. Uh, this particular jig is a jig that I made for doing the back layup, the back brace layup for a tenor ukulele. Uh, that way all your braces are laid out perfect every time. Um, this is kind of just one example of, of a lot of different areas um, that the laser can do. So uh, that's it for lasers for today. Thank you.